Hey, it's Benjamin from Eclipse. I'm on uh, BSI's booth and I think we have yet another cool IoT demo. So I'm here with Matthias. So I see an Arduino over there. Uh, what do you have? What's the demo? Okay, thank you, Benjamin. My name is Matthias Asset, co-lead of Eclipse Scout. I'd like to present you our Arduino alarm that we built and connected to Scout. First, you have this small Arduino that is connected with an Ethernet chill to the, to the Ethernet. On it, there's an MQTT client library. The alarm, if you come close to the device, the alarm goes on. With the red light, if you go away, the alarm goes off and you have only the green light. The green light indicates that the alarm is actually armed, so the alarm does something. Then, on the back end, there is some MQTT broker provided by some colleagues that push pictures, but we'll come to that later. Okay, so here we have a small Scout MQTT client with the standard information that is necessary to connect to MQTT broker. We have subscriptions as here. Currently, we, we have subscriptions for images to get from our colleagues at Bitreactive, and we have some subscription to the ECE Scout stuff, which is coming from the Arduino. When we look at the messages, this is what's flowing in at live from the, from the Arduino. Mo now it's just voltages, as you can see from the, from the timestamps. If I trigger the alarm, you get an alarm message. If the alarm is going off, you can have the off message as well. And on this alarm tab, you can see how it looks on the user interface. So if I trigger the alarm, we can see that the thing should goes to red. And if I go away, then it turns back to, to white. I can disarm the alarm here with this off thing, which sends over MQTT the command to switch off the alarm. This means that the green lamp is off now on the Arduino side. If you look at the Arduino and I switch on again the arm, the green light comes on again and the alarm is working as before in the normal way. What we also have with Scout is the ability to have several UIs, not only desktop, but also web and mobile. So if you look here, we actually have the, the mobile rendering for the same application without any code changes. Here I have the connections which has lost the connection to broker. So let's try to restart the connection to the same broker. So I connect to the same Bitreactive broker. I go to subscription. Here I've prepared the subscription for my, my filter so I can subscribe to this one. And from that on, I can go to the message tab and go here. I can see basically how the messages start to flow in, this time on a mobile device. So I don't have a table showing this thing, it's just a list now. This is some small thing that the Scout framework is doing at runtime for rendering the same application differently on mobile devices and desktop devices. We can now add to change this picture because this is uh, coming from our colleagues just right on the, on the side on the booth. So let's, we, we move over there, take a selfie, and we should have here a new picture. Let's try that one. Okay, let's take the selfie of the Scout at the Bitreactive booth right next to ours. Of the beep, it captures the image. Now we can go back to our MQTT client, and ta-da! The picture was pushed over Bitreactive's MQTT broker and received in the Scout MQTT client and shown here on the screen. Thanks a lot.